rappers, here are some things that you need to know before you start to lease beats from producers. Stay tuned. Rappers, there are a few things you need to know before you start to lease beats. Now, if you're a rapper, you don't understand the leasing process. I have videos on it, but let me briefly explain to you what the leasing business is all about. For you as a rapper, there is a cost efficient and a very convenient way for you to get your hands on quality production that would otherwise cost $500, $1,000. It would otherwise cost that much. You basically get the opportunity to lease or rent a particular piece of music for your project without having to worry about getting uh, 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 a hell of a lot of money behind a budget to try to get these beats. You can get it at a very cost efficient price to add to your project, have a project full of bangers, be able to get your ideas out, find specific beats that match your particular content. Maybe you have a subject title of a song of losing a love and you need to find a specific beat. Guess what? There's a whole world available to you and you can get most of these beats for about 20 to 25 bucks. Yes, 20 to 25 bucks for those who didn't know what the leasing business is. That's what it is in a nutshell. Now, the different people offer different things. Most people will charge you a certain price for the MP3 or the Wave or even the trackouts and stems. That's it. That's the bottom line of it. Now, there's a few things you need to know about the leasing business. You are not the only one who has access to rent these beats. You are not the only one. There are other rappers out here who are looking for the same type of beat, like a, a song about lost love. They're looking for beats that are very similar to that. That being said, you got to understand a few different things because I get a lot of customers that hit me up and they're like, what do you mean I don't own the beat exclusively for $25? No. Exclusives tend to be the most expensive uh, price tag that, that is on a beat because you get to take the beat basically off of the market. That beat is yours. You are the last owner of that beat. Okay, now there's other things in terms of the contract you got to really read, but when it comes to exclusive rights, basically that is your beat. In essence, it can get a little bit confusing because it's not necessarily your beat, but you are the last rapper that'll be able to purchase and own that beat. Now, I have a few things written down that I want to discuss that you basically need to know. First of all, understand the business. I gave you what this leasing business is in a nutshell. You understand basically the, the, the basic mechanics of what this business is. It's important for you to do more research. Understand what it is that you're getting into. Understand what it is that this business is all about because if you don't understand the mechanics of it, you're gonna be disappointed and you're gonna have producers that you gonna think are trying to do you dirty but they're, they're just doing their, their job. Now, the second thing I think that you should know before you start leasing beats, read the agreements. Read the license agreements. Every producer, not every producer, but most producers have license agreements on their website that tell you, look, for an MP3 lease or a basic lease, you can only sell up to 5,000 units without being, you know, basically uh, uh, taxed by the producer. You can sell 5,000 units without an issue. Or some of them will say you can Basically, rap over this beat on a mixtape, but you cannot make a music video over with an MP3 lease. It's important that you don't ignore that because there's some producers out here that are looking for the opportunity to come sue you or looking for the opportunity to come talk stuff about you or whatever the case may be. They're looking for you and they're looking to make your life a living hell. Read the license agreement. See what you're actually purchasing is more than just a format. You're purchasing a certain amount of rights that are given to you by this producer who says, look, I'll give you this beat for a lower price, but please understand my terms of service, my terms of use. Understand what this is all about. So I think you should read the agreements. I think the third thing is understand that free download does not mean free lease. It does not mean free beat. Free download is basically almost like going to a supermarket and they're like, we got these Vienna sausages on this toothpick. Would you like to try some? You don't take that and say, yeah, it's good. Now I'm going to take these Vienna sausages home for free since y'all giving stuff out for free. No, that's not what it is. What you basically are getting into when you are getting a free lease, it is an opportunity for you to sample that beat. It's an opportunity for maybe you would even record like a rough draft over it. It is not for you to put out. It is not for you to be putting all over your Insta stories and Snapchat talking about, yeah, 
about to wrap up this Curtis King, be CurtisKingBeast.com. And it's not for that. That is not what that free download is. The free download is literally for you to be able to sample it before you actually purchase it. Okay? Maybe you want to listen to it in your car and maybe you want to listen to it in different environments. That's fine. That's what the free download is for. But it is not a free lease. Now the last thing I think you need to know is that if you need your beats immediately, if you're a rapper that's like on the way to the studio or you're a singer that's like, yo, I got to be in a studio in one hour, do not go the route of trying to do a manual order. Now there's a difference between a manual order and an instant order. An instant order is what you typically find when, if you go to CurtisKingBeats.com, you'll see a shopping cart that basically allows you to add a beat, add a beat, whatever lease you want, whatever MP3 wave stems, you can add that. Take it in the shopping cart, take it, go on uh, uh, PayPal, pay for it, have it sent to your email. That's an instant store purchase from a shopping cart. Those are the ones you need to be focused on. Now, a manual order is when you go, say, to my sound click, and then you type in the name of a beat, and then you wait on me to send it to you. Now, my website promises that it'll get to you within 24 hours, but that's within 24 hours, not 24 seconds. <laughs> so when you want to be immediately, and you're, you're really just kind of impulse buying, Go the route of going to the instant store. Go the route of using the shopping cart and understanding the different features of it and what it's promised. Most of them will deliver it almost as soon as you push purchase, they'll deliver it right there. Sometimes it takes five to 10 minutes, but just know that you wanna give, your space, you wanna give yourself a space and a block. You gotta be more organized. You can't just go in here expecting, you know, you can't walk into to the bank and if there's a line going there, it's like, I gotta pay my, I gotta get my check cash because I gotta go back to work. Nobody cares, man. They promise you speedy customer service, but they don't promise you that at the expense of other customers who were sitting there expecting the same thing. So that's the last thing. Those are four things I think that you should know before leasing beats. Producers, if you got more things that you think these rappers should know about before leasing beats, leave them down in the comments below. Let's get it. Once again, it's another perspiration. <laughs> doodle, a hurt doodle. Look, if you want some more of this juice, please subscribe to the channel below. Be a part of the notification game. The Hurts notification gang, but we still here. <laughs> it, I appreciate everyone that's been supporting these efforts, supporting these videos on Patreon. Rappers, if you would like one free beat a month, producers, if you would like drum kits or the opportunity to have a consultation free every single month, be a part of my Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash Curtis King. Let's discuss it. Going back to the topic at hand, rappers, these are the things that you need to know before you actually go lease beats. Do your research. Curtis King got a whole channel full of videos. There's no reason why you shouldn't know what you know, what you know, what you know now. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King, CurtisKingBeats.com. When I listen to you, it's a liability. Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy. So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me. I